What up? This is Rama Screen, and in the anticipation of Redemption Day arriving in theaters January 8th and on digital and on demand January 12th, I'm here talking with the director of this new film, Hisham. How are you, sir? I'm good, and you? Good. So what was the inspiration behind Redemption Day? I understand that you had co-writers on this project. So how did the story come about? So the story came up uh, when I first lost my friend in a terrorist attack in Burkina Faso. So she was uh, just hanging up in a hotel. She was working for Amnesty International on a mission. And, you know, this group of people came up in the hotel and started to shoot everyone. So I decided to uh, to write a story uh, about, about, it's not typically about her, but it's about uh, those kinds of behavior and who's behind them and who's behind them. Uh, just to, you know, uh, try to make a love story and show the American audience and the international audience what's the real purpose of those people and that has nothing to do with Islam or anything. Uh, I'm also aware that this marks your feature-length film directorial debut, correct? Yes, yes, correct. Congrats on that. So after Thank several you. prior short films, what motivated you strongly to decide on this one as your feature-length directorial debut? Well, it was quite obvious. Uh, in the beginning, somebody else was supposed to direct this movie because, mm. you know, I've never directed anything before. I did the two short films, but uh, it took so much time to, to, to attach the actors, to, uh, to, to have this director, you know, pull up my vision on screen. And uh, I've been behind the script. I've been behind the production. I've been doing almost everything. And uh, at a certain point, we, we couldn't get the money we wanted to get. I mean, the budget was so high at that point and the, the former director didn't want to uh, uh, reduce his fees and everything. And, you know, it was, and then I was thinking about everything and it was so obvious to say, you know, I, I know the locations, I know the actors, I wrote the script. It should be obvious for me to direct this movie. And I've, I've talked to my casting directors and she said, you know what, go for it, do it. I'm sure you can have, uh, I mean, I'll help you to have the talent you want. Uh, I know you're serious, the script is solid. So yeah, why not? And, uh, and all of a sudden it became so obvious. And I said, I wanna do it, it's my movie. I mean, I'm behind the story. I've, I've, I, I've, I've seen this movie so many times in my head. And I said, okay, I'm going to direct it. I understand that Morocco is the go-to place for Hollywood to shoot any uh, Middle East story. Uh, talk to me about the advantages and the challenges of shooting logistically in that location. Well, logistically, it's very easy. Why? Uh, because Morocco is very film-friendly. They, they attract a lot of productions, the big studios. Uh, I grew up there. I've shot many movies there. I know everyone. So for me, it was, I mean, if you want, I shot quarter of the movie is happening in New York and we shot New York in Morocco. We just shoot the wow. aerial shots for the, the drone shots and everything to have, uh, uh, you know, the, the exterior of New York. But everything else was done in Morocco because we have modern areas, we have uh, modern cities, we have not only deserts and camels, <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Yeah, for me, it was so obvious because we, when I wrote the story, with the, the script, I was thinking about uh, uh, the location at the same time. I was thinking about the actors I knew that are going to do this part or this part. So for me, it was easy. And the, the advantage of shooting in Morocco is it's five times cheaper than United States. Uh, we have a very professional crew that have been working with uh, on uh, all Ridley Scott movies like Kingdom of Heaven, Gladiator, Body of Flies. Uh, they did the James Bond, the, the fifth one, I think. They did, uh, uh, what was the other one? The Mission Impossible. So we have a very solid crew in Morocco that has the internet, the Hollywood standards. Talk to me about rounding up this wonderful cast that you have here for Redemption Day. Gary, Sarinda, Andy Garcia, especially Gary. Was he always your first choice to play the lead role of Brad Paxton? He was not my first choice, but you know, if you come, if you ask me now and you give me any other actor, I will, I will stick with Gary. Uh, you know, when you start a movie, you start to dream and you ask for the biggest name and you say, we want this guy, we want this guy. And then you get a lot of no's. And, uh, and, but Gary, at a certain point, I was, I just saw a picture of him in some newspaper and I said, this guy would be great. And all of a sudden, everything made sense. Uh, Gary was into the character. When I first had my phone call with him, he was motivated. 
he was uh, he was training for some other stuff. He's fit, uh, you know. And he came to Morocco, I think, two or three weeks before the shoot. And we've been hanging out before the production start, and he's been doing the training. And we start to discuss. Uh, this guy is really good. I don't know why he why he disappeared all those years, but he's really good. I mean, as an actor, as a human being, he's a magician as well. He's been doing a fantastic job. And uh, to be honest, if you ask me about another actor right now, if I had to reshoot the movie, I'll, I'll stick with Gary. All right. Uh, I'm a big fan of war thrillers, uh, but I haven't spoken with a lot of war movies directors. You're probably, you're probably among the few that I've talked with. I'm curious, what was your process of shooting some of these films, intense battle sequences? I noticed that the, the scene where Gary and Bryce infiltrates the the sleeper cell, it, it has that one take feeling to it as the dolly tracks them from behind. Talk to me about the details and the challenges of shooting this film's war sequences. So uh, what we've done, we shot the entire battle in one scene. I mean, the opening is, uh, I think the opening scene is five minutes and it starts from the, it starts from the, from the military base. And we follow them. So we, it, it's a long shot from the military base. We follow Gary in the opening. We go inside with him in the tent. He talks to his commander and he gives him the mission and he leaves the tent. The, he, he assembled the crew, get in the car. We go in the car for another one minute and a half or two where we have the opening credit. In the, so it's an aerial, aerial shot. And then we go down and then the battle starts. And there is a bunch of jihadists, like there are 20 of them against, uh, against uh, trying to kill all the U.S. militaries. And, uh, and we see the entire sequence is one shot. And then uh, toward the movie, we see the rest of the sequence as a flashbacks. But it has always been the same shot. That's awesome. It was, yeah, but it was two days of, of rehearsing with everyone, with the camera and everything, so we can have the right shot after, I guess, I think we did 12 takes, but it was very long shot. 12 takes is a lot. So I guess my final question is, um, theme-wise, on a larger picture, does this movie want to say something about U.S. foreign policy? Yeah, definitely. That's the, that's the, that's the main uh, message we want to say. Because when you watch the movie trailer, it's it's just a woman. It's just a woman who's been kidnapped, and her husband is gonna save her. Mm -hmm. It's very classic. We've seen this before, but the story is more about you know who's behind of all of that kind of operations, and this is what I'm showing in the movie because it's not just a terrorist guy who comes and say ha ha la akbar blah blah blah. It's there's a lot of political behind, and and that's what I'm showing in the movie. All right. Everybody, for my fans at home, go check out Redemption Day, arriving in theaters January 8th and on digital and on demand January 12th. Hisham, thank you for talking to me and congratulations. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much.